Hello, I'm Lessa Logan, and I have a Try This Tuesday for you. So I want you to grab something that looks similar to my fancy two by four. It could be a regular two by four. Just make sure you can't get splinters. Could be something that's pretty sturdy. That's only about an inch and a half, two inches tall. You'll see why in a second. And, um, and then you can turn it to the side. I'm going to turn mine to the side so you could see it rather. So you want to be able to have your balls of your feet on the two by four. My feet are parallel and my heels are down. So that's like key, right? And then what I'm going to do is without being too dramatic, I'm going to lift my heels up, right? And so now I can tell that my feet are having a really hard time standing on the two by four because I'm, my ankles want to roll out. So this is a really good practice for strengthening your ankles. I'm going to bend my knees and slide down an imaginary wall. I'm going to keep my knees bent and lower my heels. That's really hard to do. And then I'm going to straighten my legs without pushing my knees back. I'm going to get taller, lift the heels, bend the knees, Ooh. <laughs> lower the heels and then straighten up. Now you can reverse that. You can bend the knees with the heels down. Ooh, that's a stretch. Lift the heels up and then straighten the legs. Got to do it from your center. And again, lower the heels down. Bend the knees with the heels down, lift the heels up, and then straighten the legs and stand up. And so all I'm doing here is like noticing what my ankles want to do. I'll show you from the other side, right? So you can see how much they have so much. Having too much flexibility is not always a great thing, especially in your ankles. So as I bend my knees, I can feel I want to roll out to that side edge of my feet. So when I lift my heels, Ugh. I have to really work to get those inner thighs on and get my big toes back down. When I straighten my legs, my knees just want to pop back. So I got to work on opening my hips and getting taller. And I can feel how I want to roll out to the pinky side of my foot. So I got to stand on the big toe more, lower my heels down while I lift my center, bend my knees, keep the weight even better on that one. Lift the heels up, come up and then lower the heels down. Now I can reverse it. I can lift the heels up, stand on the balls of my feet, right? Bend those knees, lower the heels down. Ooh, that left one went rogue. Stand back up. We'll try that again. So the more I lift up, you can have your hands behind your head, by the way, bend the knees, pushing your head into your hands, lowering my heels, staying on the balls of my feet, straightening the legs. Woo, fun, isn't it? So try that. And then when you do, let me know how it goes. Comment below, uh, tag me in your po photo, and uh, it's something you can do while watching TV, right? Or waiting around for somebody. Um, something low and uh, practice your actual footwork. Thank you so much for watching this. Please subscribe below so you never miss a video from me. And if you love this and you have a friend you wanna share it with, go right ahead. I love that you do that for me. Thank you so much. It allows us to continue to do more videos like this. I will see you next time. Hi, I'm Meredith, and I'm one of the people creating online PilatesClasses.com. One of the things that I love most about this project is that we're building the very first free online catalog of Pilates exercise how-to videos. We release three new videos each week. People often leave comments asking Leslie to explain a specific exercise, and you can do that too. And if you love watching these videos and believe in the project of creating this catalog, you can support it by joining Leslie every week in her online mat and reformer classes. Just go to onlinepilatesclasses.com slash subscribe.